Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another video from me. And this time I'm going to hit upon the idea of the Nintendo Switch getting a bunch of Wii U ports. Now, it's just a rumor. There's nothing completely confirmed. Um not even partially confirmed to be truthful, but um, <clears throat> I haven't really stated my position fully on this, but here's my thing. I'd be a hypocrite to say that this would be a great thing if the Nintendo Switch is going to end up with a bunch of Nintendo Wii U ports. And you, the, the problem here isn't because I don't think people should be able to play those games and I don't think that Nintendo should be able to make money off of those games again. No, that's not a problem. The problem I have here is that people are mu all throughout the, the gaming community on YouTube laughed and joked and, and pounced all over the PS4 for getting ports of PS3 games that were exclusive to the PS3. And on a regular basis. It's, it's not like it was just one or two or maybe even three. This was like it's, like, it's a lot of games that were PS3 games were ported to the PS4. And for the most part, those ports really don't even look all that different. They don't run all that different. It's pretty much the same thing exactly as it was just on a newer console without much improvement to me i i don't see the purpose in that i mean uh, unless it's like a drastically huge improvement or they added something to the game that that made it way better like it was pointless and even still like these are games that were games that were highly regarded for their last gen console. These were part of the last gen console's identity. The PS4, it, at, at its core, its current identity, it's a third party box. It's not a Sony box, it's a third party box. Or a remaster box. That's, that's what it is. And I, I, I couldn't... I couldn't fathom wanting Nintendo to go down the same path when we laughed at Sony for it. And, and I've heard different excuses for this. Well, the PS3 was popular. It did well. It took the PS3 forever to do well. Sony lost a lot of money on the PS3. And it, it only started making money, what was it, like 2011? 2012? Right around the time the Wii U came out, like so. It's <laughs> here's the thing: if people did not want to buy a Wii U for those games, even though they deemed them good enough to want to play them, why wouldn't you get the console that they're currently on? One, you could go get a used Wii U right now for under a hundred bucks. Two, you can go get those games for under the $60 price tag that they originally were at. Whether you buy them new or used, most a good portion of them, you can get them used extremely cheap. Now, there are some exceptions, because I had I have my Smash Brothers video that I just put out, like, that just, uh, that just went up yesterday on Thanksgiving. That's an exception, because that would literally be combining two games into one complete package. That's a different story. But <clears throat> to say you wanted a port of Splatoon, a game that everybody wanted to boycott because it didn't have voice chat, you want a port of Mario Kart 8, you, <laughs> you, you, you want a port of Super Mario Maker, which is actually going to the 3DS, is going to be cheaper anyway, even though it's not going to be all that great of a port. Um, <laughs> you want a port of Xenoblade Chron Chronicles X. It, like it's just a bunch of people wanting ports like you uh, and again uh, here's another thing 
Oh, it's going to be done by external teams. But for the external teams to do that, that's money, which is resources that are being taken away from projects that could be new games to be put on the Switch. Whether an external team is doing it or not, Nintendo still has to pay for it. They're the ones footing the bill. So there's still resources coming from new development. And if you if you really, really, really want older games, why games that aren't even that old? Like Lego City Undercover is going to be ported to the PS4, the Xbox One, PC, and is coming to the Switch. I guess there might have been some sort of exclusivity deal that it had to stay exclusive to the Wii U until it, the, the, uh, its successor comes out. I don't know. Like It seems like that because it's supposed to be launching in March and that's when the Switch launches. So fair enough. That, that would make sense. But still, this LEGO City Undercover game that people didn't want to buy on the Wii U which is currently $20 brand new, $20 brand new on the Wii U. So you mean to tell me you'd rather possibly spend, it, it, if it is $250, which I doubt it is, I highly, highly doubt it's going to be cheaper than the Wii U. My guess is somewhere between $350 or $400. But let's just put, let's just put this, to, this thought to task. Instead of purchasing like a used Wii U for somewhere between 100 and 150 bucks, and then getting Lego City Undercover for another 20 bucks, a guaranteed new product for 20 bucks, you'd be willing to spend 250 and then potentially 50 to 60 dollars on the same game. So instead of maybe spending 120 to 170, you're willing to spend about 300 for that game see people don't people when they when they say certain things they don't think about the math that they're they they're inciting because there would be people oh i don't want to spend 300 dollars on the wii u uh, you don't have to you you really don't my wii u literally my wii u actually cost me about 220 and i bought it brand new and that's because i looked for deals and other things when i bought mine i'm not a simple-minded person when it comes to buying things that I want. I actually take my time and research the things that I'm looking into to possibly get them. Uh, and another stupid ass excuse, oh, it has low install base. Here's the thing. PS4 has roughly three and a half times the install base the Wii U does. Yet, Wii U exclusives sell comparably to the games that are on the PS4. What does that tell you? Because to be honest, if the percentages, if we were, if, if just put this, if we put this into perspective, percentage wise, if the Wii U had the same number of units out as the PS4, like that many units in homes, a game like Smash Brothers would have sold three times as much. So it wouldn't have been. Uh, 5 million unit seller would probably have been 15 million. Mario Kart probably would have been 20 to 22 million. Like, you gotta think about it this way. If we flipped it backwards and the PS4 was as low as the Wii U is now, most games on it probably would not be million sellers. That's just thinking about how things worked out. If percentages stayed the same. It's a variable that can't necessarily be predicted. But it's likely to happen. Unfortunately. With the way things happen. They happen. They they kind of happen in, in, in group, groupings. Certain things happen a certain way. But. Again, just neither. I can't really predict how that would have worked, and I can't suggest that it would. It was. It would have worked exactly like that, but it's probable that it could have worked that way. And I just think that people aren't aren't looking at it like like I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at this like, do you really want to go out 
<laughs> like, you didn't want these games on the Wii U. Like, you didn't deem the Wii U worthy enough to purchase to get these games even though you want them. Like, that, this... Like, it is not like somebody who just, like, okay, I just didn't get a Wii U. But, like, these were people who were staunchly against the Wii U, The purpose of the Wii U. The idea of it. But you want the Wii U in the Switch. You want the Wii, You want the Switch to be the Wii U because the Switch is a popular idea. You want the Switch to be what the Wii U wasn't. Well, in many ways, it looks like it could be. But at the same time, again, the Switch is the Switch. I want it to have its own identity. I don't want it to be tied completely down to what the Wii U was, even if it uses a lot of similar concepts. It needs to be its own living, breathing thing. Not necessarily living and breathing, but you get my point. Like, you wouldn't want someone to try to pigeonhole you into being your parent. You're a different person. You may be similar to your parent in many ways, but you're still your own person. You're still going to make your own decisions. You're still going to be you. And that's kind of what I want for the Switch. I don't want it to be the Wii U repeated I want it to be the Nintendo Switch. That's all there is to it. I'm not worried about it being the Wii U. Sure, there are going to be some ports that happen. That's not a problem. But I don't want nearly half of the Wii U's exclusive library to be put over to the Switch. Like, that, to me, no. That's, that's not a good idea. There's, there's like... A few games that I think could even work out well for it that would, and, and a lot of them, again, watered down ports. They would literally be watered down ports because they're going to be losing features. And that's, again, people got mad about the Wii U, but like, oh, it's got all these watered down third party ports early on in its life. And then people didn't buy those games. So you mean to tell me those watered down Third party ports weren't good enough to get, but watered down Nintendo ports are going to be great. Who? The thinking does not match. <laughs> it's like, it's like immediately, because this is a popular idea, it's okay to go back on everything that we've said before. It's okay to go back on things that we've previously said are dumb as fuck. It's okay to cover the Switch library with a bunch of Wii U ports. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay that, yo, uh, hey, um, the Wonderful 101 wasn't, didn't sell all that well on the Wii U. So we're going to put it on the Switch now. And everybody's going to like If you didn't want that game before, you, I doubt you're going to want it now. And the Wonder, Wonderful 101 is a good game. And honestly, I'd rather see a sequel than a port. And if a port happens, I'd rather the port happen like way later in the system's life. To me, if a bunch of ports happen now, if a bunch of Wii U ports, and I'm not talking about third party ports because that's going to happen. There's no stopping that. That is going to happen. But if a bunch of Nintendo ports, a bunch of Wii U ports <laughs> end up on the Switch, that platform was not ready to be put out. It was not. And they were just rushing a bunch of shit together so that there'd be something on it. They had no idea of what they wanted to do with it. And to me, that's detrimental to Nintendo. That's horribly bad for them. And, oh gosh. It's like we're, we're trying to run ourselves into this pool of mediocrity. <laughs> wow. <That's, laughs> like, I didn't even think about that before. We're literally trying to pigeonhole ourselves into mediocrity. We don't want newer... Well, no, people will say, yeah, I want new games on top of this. But if 
you again if you didn't want those games on the platform that they were originally came out on why would you want them on a newer one i don't understand that way of thinking like a lot of games that I might end up with, because I eventually will get a PS4, but a lot of games that I might, I would end up on the PS4, if I got any remasters, would be because I didn't end up with them on the PS3, but I wanted them on my PS3. Not because I decided the PS3 wasn't good enough to get them on. That, that's, again, that's stupid. That's dumb thinking. Like, like um... For my PS3, I ended up with the Final Fantasy X and X2, X, X2 duology. At first, I wasn't interested in those games. Not because I didn't... Uh, not because they were on the PS2. It's just at the time, I wasn't interested in them enough. Like, there were other games that I really wanted to play. But as time passed, oh, it passed by, I was like, well, I really want to play these games. And then that came out, and I was like, okay, I'll just get that. I don't have to go hunting them down on the PS2 to play them. Because they came out again on something new. Not because I didn't give a damn at all about them. It's just like they didn't draw my interest at the time. Like, that that's not... And, and this is not the same thing. Like, again, these are people who were staunchly against... I'm, I'm not talking about people who just didn't had a passing interest and just didn't make a move on it. You guys, I'm not worried about. I'm talking about the people that were completely, staunchly against the idea of buying or playing anything on the Wii U. And even the people who own the Wii U's, why would you want these games again? Why? Why would you want these games again? That's just, no, no, that's not. So, I mean, tell me, it's like you got, like you harped all over the PS4 for this shit. But you want the Switch to do it. Again, the logic is 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 lost on me. You can say you want these games to get to a, a bigger audience, but we don't know how well the Switch is going to do. The Wii U, again, had a lot of promise leading up to just before the launch of it. It had a lot of promise. Crisis 3 was supposed to come out on it, and quite a few other games that got canceled rapidly right before it launched, and then continuously right after it launched. That same shit could still happen. Like, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to happen, but I'm not going to sit around and act like it didn't happen either. There were plenty of games I was looking forward to on the Wii U that never happened on it. Like the Young Justice Legacy game. That, like, I kind of was like, okay, this one's going to be a little different, so I'll get that version. I was actually planning on picking up three different versions of this game. One for the 360. I was going to get one on the Wii and then the Wii U because all of them would have had different play styles. And that was my that was my thought process. Like, if they put these out and they each play differently... I'm going to pick them up. Even if the story is the same. If they all play differently, I'm going to get all of them. That didn't happen. I still actually have to pick up that game. I completely forgot it until I just said something about it. Um, but there was like so much stuff that just never came out on this at all. Like, And then even with a lot of the ports that did come out, some of the good ones you still got shafted on. Again, Mass Effect 3 Special Edition comes out and then... Right around the same time, the collection comes out for everything else. Well, you mean to tell me you couldn't put these games... Like, couldn't just make the collection instead of just doing this Mass Effect 3 and cutting off the people that bought the Wii U from getting the rest of the story. So if you didn't have it on any other platform, you did not get the rest of that story. Which is ridiculous. And there were a lot of things you couldn't do because you didn't get to play the other two <laughs> portions of that story. You didn't get to play the other two portions of that trilogy, so there are certain events that just can't happen in the Wii U port, which gimps it. <laughs> Need for Speed Most Wanted You, I think, was probably one of the best examples of a really good game port coming out, but people didn't trust the company. And then you look at Mass Effect, and you kind of understand why people didn't trust the company. 
that did it. But they do eat it. Um, but it's, it's just like an issue that things that could happen. And, and I hope, I truly, truly hope that the third party developers that are going to be developing games for this platform put their best effort into it. And that they reap the rewards of that best effort. But again, as far as Nintendo's games are concerned, if all they're putting out is ports, if all they are putting out is ports, or a lot of what they're putting out is ports, they were not ready to release this thing. Not at all. They rushed it out. And mostly because of the bad stigma that was created by a bunch of people who want a bunch of games from a platform that they claim that they didn't want. Or a bunch of people who want games from a platform that they already own recently all over again. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, if you didn't like the Wii U, fine. Perfectly fine. If you're interested in the Switch and didn't like the Wii U, still fine. But don't tell me you're looking forward to a bunch of Wii U games on the Switch when you said you didn't want a Wii U or you disliked the Wii U. Like if you like at that point you're you're literally saying fuck everything on that console. So there's no point in you saying, "Oh, I'm excited about these ports, possible ports," because we have no confirmation whatsoever. We don't know at all. If, if, if this is stuff, I'm like, this is a rumor. Like, this is really just a rumor that people are running with. Because one rumor, one, one rumor was actually really close. And that's because somebody actually just talked about stuff that they weren't supposed to ahead of time. But all the other, all those other rumors were completely, completely wrong. Like, way off base. <laughs> <laughs> like so yeah I'm still not running with the rumor brigade I just it's not happening the only way that would happen for me is like if 90% of everything that was said was true you can't tell me okay out of, out of 10 shots taken we get two hits and and that's accurate no <laughs> like no <laughs> like that's 20% accuracy buddy that's not like 80 or 90% no like if, if I shoot at a target ten times and I only hit it twice, and 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 then at that point I just barely hit it, that's not accuracy, and your aim is off. And if your aim is off, I'm not going to trust you to shoot. Like that's just the basic concept here. <sighs> I, I mean, I could talk about this till I'm blue in the face. I could go up, down, left, right, back, forward, diagonally if I really needed to, all over this subject. But I, I, I honestly don't even know if anything that I say will penetrate anybody's skull. I don't know if anything that I'm saying will get anybody to think about what they're saying. I don't know if what I'm saying will somehow hit the back of someone's head and they'll be like, huh, I didn't think about that. I, I put all of these negative thoughts out about something. I trashed this idea. I trashed this concept. But then I turned back around and said, oh, I'm excited for them to take stuff from that and put it here. <laughs> That's almost as if you're saying, hey, I know that bottle's poisonous, but I'm going to drink it anyway. Again, the stuff didn't attract you before. It didn't it didn't even didn't even register with you that this stuff could be good. But you want it now. Which to me says you don't know what you want and you're only trying to follow a popular trend. Which if that's what you're doing, you don't need to be playing video games, to be honest. Because if you can't find something that you like and you enjoy and enjoy it for yourself, then what the hell are you doing being a gamer? <laughs> that, that, to me, tells me you don't have your own identity. Like, you're literally a facsimile of other people's 
thoughts. I'd rather not be that. I'd rather not have that. I'd rather not have that be a game console. A facsimile of other people's thoughts. And essentially, yes, that's what a game console is. It's a bunch of concepts thrown together into one package. But that's not what I'm meaning. I'm not interested in having the Switch be the Wii U. I want the Switch to be the Switch. If you didn't like the Wii U, don't expect the Switch to be the Wii U. That is just that's simple. If I <clears throat> if I don't like a certain movie, I'm not gonna go and say, "Oh, I want I want like just 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 taking this for example." Let's just say I didn't like Batman, and I'm not saying I don't. Let me just say I didn't like Batman. I'm not going to look at a Spider-Man movie and say I want this Spider-Man movie to be exactly like that Batman movie that I did not like. That's stupid. It's literally stupid. There is no other word for it besides stupid. But again, this is the phrase that I've been using a lot recently. Is that like, pe people are mouthpieces. They only repeat other people's words. They're mouthpieces. They only say what others say. And and I want to bring up another point. One, one last point before I'm done with this. Me not wanting the Wii U games to all be ported, to a lot of them to be ported to the Switch, isn't because I'm some super loyal Wii U gamer. No. It's literally because if Nintendo's moving away from the Wii U, I want them to move away from it. I don't want them to fall back to it and try to resell the same shit again. I want them to move on. I want them to move forward. I want them to grow from it. You can't say, you can't be one of these people proclaiming, oh, Nintendo's learned their lesson, and then say, hey, Nintendo's giving us all the same shit that we didn't want before. What kind of fucking idiot are you at that point? Again, stupid. <laughs> that, that's all I've got to say is that you're stupid. So you gonna call it like if I don't want a bunch of Wii U games on the Switch, I'm a Wii U fanboy. Where is that fucking logic? I didn't want a bunch of PS3 games on the PS4, so that makes me a PS3 fanboy. I didn't want a bunch of 360 games on the fucking Xbox One, meaning remastered. Not talking about backwards compatibility. Backwards compatibility is a different thing. But I don't want a bunch of remastered Xbox 360 games. On the Xbox One, so I'm a, a 360 fanboy. No, only way you could say I was is if I wanted those things to be there. Like, um, let's take for example. <laughs> let's just say I, I wanted Alan Wake rematch. I want every Xbox 360 exclusive game remastered for the Xbox One. That would make me a 360 fanboy because I couldn't let go of it. That's one of the things that that kind of makes me a Sega Saturn fanboy because I want to see a lot of the Sega Saturn games that, like you know, only had a tiny ass audience to 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 get a super tiny audience. I want to see those games on newer platforms and the, legitimately. That makes sense. Sega Saturn sold way worse than what the Wii U did. Way worse. <laughs> and a lot of those games were amazing. But people dismissed it. And worse than what they've done to Wii U. Worse than how the Wii U got treated, the Sega Saturn got. And, and it rightfully got treated that way because Sega made some stupid ass moves. 
the position the Wii U was in didn't deserve exactly what it got. It was just, hey, there's a bunch of people that don't like it, so we're gonna make it popular and stomp all over this shit. That that's all that that's all that was. But oh uh, man, I'm just, <laughs> I've been going for like half an hour. I, I think I've made more than enough of a point that I don't want the Wii U to be the Switch. I want the Switch to be its own thing. A couple ports here and there may happen, but honestly, I'd rather they be older games. Like, older, older games. Because then you can bring those games to a newer audience. The stuff that's recent, there's not really a newer audience for it. I swear, it's like people forget that motherfuckers buy multiple consoles. Even the people that actually do it seem, seem to fucking somehow forget. It's like, oh, I've, I've bought multiple platforms. You don't do that, though. I'm just going to assume that everybody else doesn't do that for some reason. I, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm stopping. Because, <laughs> again... Uh, that that video I titled uh, I titled Switch U makes a lot of sense when you think about how people are acting about this shit, doesn't it? That's why this is Switch U Part Two. But thank you guys very much for listening. I know this was long winded. There's not much going on on the screen. It's just my voice, and I hope you were just listening to me in the background. But again, thank you for listening. Let me vent my frustrations over this stupid shit. And you guys have a nice, wonderful day. Go enjoy your motherfucking games. Peace out.